Good morning everybody. It's a beautiful day here in Istanbul. The super busy city of... What do you call it? City of lights? No, I don't know. City of spices, city of... City food. of everything. Everything, yeah. exactly. So, me and Russell, we're going to a four locations today. He's been planning out this trip for months. I'm super excited. We're gonna see some bazaars, street food, market, and of course, some really nice mus muskus. How do you say The mus blue mosque. The blue mosque? Yeah, the blue mosque. Yeah. So, so tell me. We don't know which one it is because there's so many here and they're huge. They're the biggest ones I've ever seen. And of course they're old ones. They're unique, you know. They're not like in Dubai, you know, brand new. So uh, exciting stuff. We're gonna go check that out. So let's go. Just crossed the Galacta Bridge. It's a busy one. Loads of people fishing. A lot of life going on. Obviously, this this city is so busy, guys. And beautiful. In front of us, we got amazing mosque. It's being repaired. On the other side, another big mosque. We're gonna check them out later. But first, we're gonna go check out a fish market where you can actually select live fish. We can pick one. We'll see if we're gonna buy. Interesting to see. One over there. Another, I think we'll check this one out later. Look at that guys, the people fishing there and then the buildings in the background. It's a kind of feeling like you're in Italy or Barcelona, same kind of architecture style and mixed with the turkeys obviously. A lot of nice mix. So far, loving the city. So what kind of drink is this? What kind of drink? This is what? Pickles and... Pickles. Pickles and... Uh, what is this? Syrup? Strawberry syrup? Some cranberry juice. We think it's pickles. It looks like cranberry juice. Is it gonna be sour? Sour? <laughs> I don't like it! <laughs> Maybe we should have I'm sorry, sir. I don't like pickles, but I think we should finish it. I cannot finish, sorry. First drink in Turkey, not so good. But I'm sure we're gonna get a lot better ones. That is just straight up pickles. Alright guys, we're about to enter the Grand Bazaar. You got everything here. Everything for meat, cheese, spices, nuts, everything. It's gonna be all the way from there and down this road. First impression, really cool culture here guys, different from anything I've seen before. The Turkish people, they're kind of 50-50 uh, nice and 50-50 like, oh, buy stuff, talk to me, buy stuff. But uh, I guess that's normal here. Different culture, different places, wherever you go in the world, but a lot of stuff to buy, a lot of spices, a lot of meat stuff, smoked. Later down the road we'll try that, but not for now. Razul over here is buying the uh, Turkish flag. <laughs> Only 20 liras, which is about, I don't know, three or four dollars. There you go. We just finished the Grand Bazaar. Really touristic, but I'm sure like there's a lot of bazaar in all over Turkey. So uh, we'll see, definitely see some more of that later on. The next location, I'm not sure. We're gonna go try to get a rooftop place and get a good picture of the city. If you see this on the streets in uh, Turkey here, it's um, basically means a lucky charm. It originates from Greece and even people have it in their houses, if they have a tree inside the house, they, uh, they put it up there, lucky charm. You see this all over uh, Istanbul or Turkey. And we just witnessed a car crash. There was a guy on a motorbike, he crashed right into a trash can, I think, and they're still there. Hopefully it's okay. See you guys, this is what I was talking about before, the lucky ones, the lucky charm or whatever. It's uh, on a lot of buildings, a lot of entrances. 
inside the houses, wherever you go. It's nice. We're continuing to walk here around the streets of uh, Istanbul. Late. This is the finish. This is the church. Tajin, Tajin, Tajin. Yes, yes. Oh, that's cool. So we've been seeing this all around the city, you know, we're wondering what this is. The gentleman over there, he told us, this is a Turkish kebab. They actually, like, uh, have the meat, right? Yeah, meat. They got the meat inside and they cook it in the jar. And then they put it outside, decorate, I don't know. Maybe they use it again. We're just walking through the streets of Istanbul here. On my right here, we got uh, some uh, Roman leftovers. See that? That's all Roman. And we'll be continuing up this path here, reaching the uh, spectacular mosque. That was just a sneak peek of what we're about to see. We're entering the uh, Istanbul Archaeological uh, Museum. So right now we're entering the archaeological side of Istanbul and they just confiscated our microphone, tripods. So I'm using this one as a mic, so hopefully you guys can hear me. This is a really nice place. Check out these uh, ancient statues. They all look like from the Roman Empire. That was quite interesting. Me and Russell, we just put on some Turkish costumes right over there. Did some photos, really touristic stuff, kind of silly. Something I really don't like to do, but yeah, gotta be silly sometimes. Next up, we're gonna go uh, try to find some colorful buildings. We we're about to go to this colorful building area, but we had to stop by because I've been looking for like uh, traditional accessor accessories for um, from Turkey. This is definitely one of them. I don't know how to put it on, but Razul is gonna show you. Yeah, it should be like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like this, this is how you do it. This is what and I've been looking like for. This. That's badass. Because we'll be going to a very hot place later on this trip, and this might actually protect my face really well. It's a really nice street. A lot of colors, the light blue, purple, anything. Hey, sir, how are you doing? You good? <laughs> we were looking for a street with the uh, filled with colors i guess this is the one that's really nice small tiny houses what oh the God. heck we found it the uh colorful street yeah. it looks like it's made for dwarves because everything is so small here the windows the uh it's a restaurant <laughs> it's a restaurant and it it's two floors but uh look how small it is Super cool area, it's blazing hot. We're about to say goodbye to this uh, tiny, cute village area and get some lunch finally. It's about 2.30 and we haven't eaten anything all day except uh, breakfast. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Nice camera man. You do vlog yourself? You do a travel vlog? Yeah. Cool, I do a travel vlog as well. Finish, no. Holy shit, you have 19,000 How often do you upload? Wow, you don't meet many Icelandic people. You guys only have like 300,000 people in your country, right? Anyway, I'm gonna roll, so nice to meet you guys. Alright, lunch is finished. We're refilled and energy is going off the roof. Where are we going after next, Razul? Uh, we're going to the mosque. The and, blue mosque. Uh, the blue mosque and uh, we'll see what we can find in there. Yeah, we have no idea how it's gonna look inside. So I'm super excited to check that out, see some nice architecture. Alright, here we go guys, the blue mosque. crap you guys check this out that is absolutely massive how beautiful is that and you should have a career to my mother Guys, this is such a cool story. This gentleman over here. What's your name? Sina. Hey, Sina. 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 I'm from Iraq. He's from Iraq. He actually fled Mosul when the ISIS came. 
Yes. Wait, three years ago, right? Yes, three years ago. I, uh, oh, yeah. live here. Yes. He's been living here in Istanbul for three years after he fled Iraq. It's like crazy, you know. Yeah. You're here on this adventure, okay. meeting random people. He came up to me, started talking. And everyone has a story. I keep saying that every time. Everyone has a story. And they're speaking Arabic. <laughs> well, that's it from this magical mosque. It's probably the best mosque I've ever been to. The second one was in Dubai, but it doesn't even compare to this one. And I'm sure if you go to another mosque here in Istanbul, they're gonna top all of the ones in Dubai. But next location, some hotel Razul knows about. Yeah, it's uh, we call it Taibili Hotel. It's all about uh, a, a good architecture in there, and the color of the hotel is good. So probably gonna take some good photos. Awesome yeah. photos, a lot of colors. Let's do it. <laughs> what a beautiful street here, guys. We're um, I don't know, it's hotels, colorful buildings, restaurants, guys singing on the roof. What the? Heck? <laughs> That's funny. That's awesome. It's beautiful voice. Voice of an angel. Yes. Voice of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Island. Islanda. Yeah. Guys, we were gonna call it a day here, but we keep stopping at every single corner. Look at this place. Super duper Turkey is cool. It's all just lamps? Lamps, yeah. Lamps, yeah. We have 4,000 of them in total. 4,000 4, in this building? Yes, yes. yes. Because... Uh, Here are like, guys, 4,000 lamps. It's amazing. It's also a hotel and the, all the rooms are decorated like this. They're all like this? Yes. That's that is such a thousand. cool theme. We were gonna call it a day, but once again, we were walking outside and this restaurant owner, he said, Oh, you did you check out the garden? And we're like, nope. Walk down there, up the stairs to the left, and there you are. Have this. What a cute garden, guys. There are all kinds of nice colored, colored chairs, colored walls, trees, everything. Nice place to chill out. Have the turkey's tea, maybe. That's something we haven't tried yet. We'll definitely try that tomorrow. But, guys, that's it for this video. We're gonna try to catch a sunset and then call it a day. And until tomorrow, peace out.